Hey guys, this is Hakoba here, and I had a request for a tutorial on attaching different objects um, within Maya. And yeah, this is different from grouping them um, or parenting. Grouping will, um, well, for example, if you do Shift G, you'll group them, and if you hit the up arrow key, you can select them at the same time. So they're sort of part of the same thing, but they're still separate objects. Um, and then what we're going to be doing here is actually making them one object and then you can never really select them separately. I mean, I guess you could um, go to mesh separate, um, but it, it's a lot more work. So, um, but yeah, I have just a really, really rough kind of body and arm I created. And I was going to show some of the different ways to go about doing this. I'm just going to shift D duplicate it so I can show kind of some of the methods but anyways um, so if we want these to be together um, one thing you kinda want um, them to be lined up before you combine them since once you combine them they'll be one object so you can't move the whole thing around anymore so you want it pretty well lined up um, and this isn't too bad but you don't want it overlapping so I'm under my polygons and I'm going to go to mesh combine and now it is one object and there's different ways I could go about combining them um, the first way and you can see um, I almost always combined um, with my low resolution poly um, once you get into smoothing um, well that's just smooth display but smoothing it gets a lot more difficult much harder to line them up because you really want the same number of vertexes and edges and such um, so I'll just go to my four view and kind of show um, so one way would be going in and sort of lining them up so they're at about the same spot um, and then what you do um, I often go to wireframe so I can kind of see where they are, make sure I'm not selecting ones that I don't want to select. Then you go into go to edit mesh and merge them. Um, and now I always check. Now we can see it's one; those two have merged into one vertex. And what's important um, here is with your settings. Um, I usually set mine. I have mine set to point oh five which is 1 20th. Um, if it's, I'm having trouble lining it up, I'll set it to 0 0.1 and you can see if you have it too high it might be merging ones that you don't want merged. Um, but that's based off the grid unit and I think sometimes it sets it to 0 0.01 which makes you set it pretty insanely close and is pretty unforgiving. So I almost always set mine to something like 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 and then you can go through and I won't do all of them just for time's sake but show you again mesh, edit mesh, merge now and now you see they're becoming part of the same thing and we can move them around and they're both moving together so you just go through and do all that and we can, you can check and you can see what the smooth mesh is working the way it it should be working. Um, one thing, smooth mesh really is a good way to make sure your models are working right. It's just the three key. Um, sometimes if things get messed up there can be internal faces that you can be unaware of. That just happened to me last night. And smooth mesh let me know something was up because there are creases and then I could go in and delete them. So it would go back to one. Um, go back to object mode. Another technique you can use is go to mesh and combine them and actually I'm going to undo that and move this back a little bit you can also do mesh combine and then the append polygon tool I think yeah it's right here and what this will do I like this fairly well a lot of the time this will let you click on one edge and click on the other and then hit the Y key and it'll let you just do it right again. You can also hit enter and then G. That's one more keystroke. Um, and I usually find that this is pretty fast 
way. It creates one more. You have to set it up like this in advance because it'll create one more edge, but I find that this works fairly well um, just for quickly. And I find it often faster than merging. Um, and yeah, now um, you have your vertexes, you can move them around. Um, if it's if you're getting a really hard edge, um, I mean that's somewhat hard. One thing you can do is go to normals and soften your edge, the whole thing. That'll kind of create a better um, than if we smooth that. You can see that's attached fairly well. Um, then one thing you can also do, I hadn't done this until fairly recently, but I was actually having pretty good luck with it. Um, for creating things. Um, you can also grab your vertexes and then, uh, let me see, you can merge them to the center so they'll attach where the two of them are connected. Mer mesh, merge to center, and that also, you always want to be checking it, making sure, but that's actually been working pretty well for me and it's kind of faster than getting them all lined up. Um, you can just hit the G key. And actually what what I was doing, I can create this really recreate this really quick. Where that came in handy was I'll just search some edge loops here. Um, around there, what I'd done is gone to face and then done an extrude and it kind of, I was kind of creating s someone's lip and then I was like, oh well, I um, created this later and had extruded this in like that and I was actually able to, and I wanted it to be kind of a continuous line so that's where I was able to go edit mesh and then merge to center um, but it was a curved surface so that was one of the only ways to do it so that can also come in handy and I'm sure there are more ways but those are three ways that should work fairly well for combining your objects together arms legs so I hope this tutorial was helpful and please um, write on my Facebook page if you have any other requests of things you want to see me do a tutorial on thanks